What is up, everyone? This is Khalib, otherwise known as Caleb, and... <sighs> Sora is in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh, man, if you haven't seen my reaction to that, I got emotional. But uh, the only thing, the only thing that bugs me about this, about Sora being in Smash, is that he is not in my hands. He's not in my game yet. I want to play as him, like right now. Like I, I get there's, I get they did the whole 13 days thing, which is, you know, the more brain. But come on, like I, I want to play as my boy Sora, like right now. Well, while we wait, uh, I'm gonna be reviewing or talking about the whole Sora presentation or the things that I found really interesting. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, uh, starting off, going back to the reveal of Sora, I... Oh boy, if you did not see my reaction video, please watch it. <laughs> uh, you will understand a little bit more of what I'm talking about here, but I love the way that they styled the trailer and, like, uh, the choreography, I guess, of the characters and everything. And specifically, in this case, Sora flying around the screen and just oh it is beautiful I, I just love it so much and just seeing all these little hidden details like cloud in the background and all that kind of stuff just it's very uh, it hyped me up so much of course I, I was crying and all that kind of stuff but ah, man it is like watching the trailer again for the review or like not for the review but for uh, for this video and I guess just on my own time as well it is just insane to see Sora on the screen and it just feels like a dream and makes me feel like okay I hope that I do not wake up from this dream if it is one um, so uh, I'm gonna go into the full on trailer not just the uh, presents thing real quick uh, I love all of the cinematics that they got or the gameplay that they got for this character it is very 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 cool uh, I love all the little hidden details with uh, his like animations or like his little like effects and everything it, it just it's, it's just Sora <laughs> you know um, again, Final Smash as well. Very, very amazing. Uh, again, I, like I said, I love the callbacks or like the little references to Sora's history. Like, I guess with the, all the other Final Fantasy characters and in this case, Sephiroth. So, ugh, man, just thinking about it. And then, you know, to top it all off, the, the big money shot at the end of the trailer of just... Sora and <laughs> Mario, I was about to say Mickey, but it's Sora and Mario just like holding hands, like shaking hands uh, in front of the Smash logo and everything and like everyone's like cheering him on in the background. Oh, it is just a such an amazing like sight to see. And like, I guess I want to say that this, I feel like this makes Smash Bros. one of the most ambitious crossover crossovers, really, uh, in general. Like, I'm trying to think of other games that have even more mind-blowing crossovers, like third parties and everything, but I can't think of anything. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. But uh, honestly, big props to Sakurai and his team at Sora Limited and everything, because, and not even just for Sora, for all of the work that they put in to this character and to all the other characters to this entire game everything into it not even just the characters the stages the music the items all of it it's just amazing so honestly before you keep going just uh make sure to i guess comment down below your favorite character in smash history and just what made you like them and all that kind of stuff so uh yeah without further ado let's go right into the first thing I want to talk about, which is the alt costumes. Starting out, we have Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora. Uh, 
I know for a fact that they literally just took the art from Kingdom Hearts 1 and just slapped it on a model. And this just looks beautiful. I love it so much. Um, now, it's weird. I, I definitely thought that they were going to use the Kingdom Hearts 1 design uh, as a base, like, in the beginning. Uh, but then that kind of, at the same time, it was kind of like, okay, they're probably going to use the Kingdom Hearts 3 design and then have the second form as an, as an alt costume or an alt uh, palette swap or whatever and then have a unique form or something like for like a, a different color of second form i don't know but uh yeah here you go it's again they probably just slapped the 2d model onto the 3d model so moving on to the next one we have king arts 2 sora again the hair and body uh, proportions don't change or anything um, but yeah no this is almost like I, I, I like this version the smash version better because it is a lot more saturated I guess like you could see a lot more of the blue and I'm, I'm not sure if it's just this picture of Sora in particular but it is a lot darker and just kind of like faded in a sense but this one has a lot more, like, I guess, saturation, if you'd say. There's a, you could see, like, the blue on the belt and the pants and, like, the buckles and everything. And it's just, it's just really awesome. Uh, next, we have the Dream Drop Distance outfit. Um, this one is almost exactly the same. They actually toned down the saturation on this one. Uh, keep in mind, this is a 3DS model, I believe, or I think this is the HD model. But, um, yeah, like, they, well, they decrease the hair or whatever because that's not how it was. I, just, I think it is. I don't even know. Um, but, yeah, they made it less saturated, and I think I like the outfit even better this way compared to this one. Uh, but I, that might just be me. Um, so, next, we have the Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit. This one is a reference, obviously, to the Kingdom Hearts 3 pose. Of course, the same thing, but then the Kingdom Hearts 3 pose is the same pose as the one from Kingdom Hearts 1, where he's... With, the only thing is that's different is the arms or the hands are facing them, or the opposite, and then the teeth of the Keyblade are the opposite way. But yeah, it's basically they took this head, they, like, they took the head of Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora, slapped it on the Kingdom Hearts 3 body and then shrunk it down a little bit and there you go <laughs> uh, next we have the Timeless River Sora um, they modeled they modeled it a lot uh, more after the Kingdom Hearts 1 outfit as you can see by the uh, treads on the shoes and uh, a little bit more detail like on the gloves uh, as you can see by the Kingdom Hearts 2 version of Timeless River Sora, there's no treads, and there's like his hood or like his, his sweater is uh, really short, like really, really short, and then his arms are basically twigs, same for his legs, and then he has like comic, comic book gloves or cartoon gloves. Uh, they literally just took the face of this, slapped it on here, and then took away this little thing right here on the glove. And then took away the chain that's there and took away some belt buckles and everything to kind of make it look a little bit more like a cartoony style. So I appreciate that though. They went through a lot of uh, hard work just to do this. And I can't think of them enough. Uh, next we have a Valor form. And I do want to say this. Well, I'll say that once I finish going over the costume. But uh, I really like the the design on his new pants because that is like I don't know it, it just looks very nice it's like going from like a bright orange to a little bit lighter and then over to like a dark pink and again like all the blue areas and like the black areas and everything they're all a lot more saturated and uh, I can't really like it, it's just amazing um, but one thing I want to mention uh, as I'm going into this next ultra costume, is because, or is that, uh, Donald and Goofy are present in Smash Bros. 
Uh, the reason I say this is because Valor Form, I believe, is when you uh, link up with Goofy, and then you have the... Uh, he disappears from your party, but you gain a bunch of abilities, so that's Valor Form. And then in the next costume, being Wisdom Form, uh, you get Donald. It's just the exact same thing, but Donald swapped out, and you get uh, a little bit more magic power. Uh, so, yeah, they're technically in Smash. So, <laughs> anyway, back to the actual costumes. Uh, this is the Dream Drop Distance outfit, but with uh, a <laughs> wisdom form, uh, I guess, color palette idea. Uh, I do like this outfit. I'm probably not going to use it, though, but I do want to point out the shoulder pads are missing here because it's not the same outfit, obviously. And then, other than that, the flames on his... Uh, sleeves and then his pants legs his pant legs uh, are also are also look the same so that's also really cool and finally final or yeah the final <laughs> outfit is ultimate form from Kingdom Hearts 3 and it's literally just the Kingdom Hearts 3 render or the Kingdom Hearts 3 model with a new coat of white and silver paint white silver and black paint and uh, you got yourself a uh, an amazing alt costume. There you go. <laughs> it is very, very, very cool. And again, I have no idea what alt costume I am going to use. I might use Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora. Uh, in game, the pants look a little bit too light, and, like kind of pink, but I don't know that that's not going to stop me. Uh, this one also looks cool. I might not pick it though. Uh, 3D. I think I'm. I think I'm leaning towards the 3D model or the 3D alt costume. And Kingdom Hearts 3, actually, actually as well. Uh, Timeless Swiffer, maybe not. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. It's like one of those popular ones that's probably going to be used a lot, so I'm probably not going to be able to use it. So yeah. And then, I think this is a close second. Uh, so 3D first. Uh, sorry, then three next, then Valor, third. Those are like the three that I'm thinking about. And then, Ultimate Form, yeah, we'll put that in fourth. Because, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's gonna do it for the alternate costume section. And I hope you guys really uh, were <laughs> intrigued by the thought of Donald and Goofy actually being in Smash Bros. So, I'm not going to talk a bunch about the moveset. Uh, one, because I kind of don't care about the moveset. I, I just want to play as the boy Sora. I mean, like, I should care about the moveset. But, like, y y you get what I mean. I Like, I don't, I don't know, like, all the names and all that kind of stuff. But, like... Oh, well, I know, I know some of them. The, some, like, the few that they actually mentioned. Some of them being uh, Aerial Sweep. That's the Recovery. Uh, Hurricane Blast, I believe that's down here. I think, I think it's Hurricane Blast. I don't know. Make fun of me. Uh, down B is Counter Attack, specifically. It's not Counter, it's Counter Attack. I don't even know. Okay. Um, and then you have Magic, which is Fire Aga, Thundaga, and Blazaga, in that order. Um, and honestly, like, just the fact that he is very very floaty in a sense um as you can probably tell that he is lighter than isabel and young link apparently so uh but apparently he's gonna be easy to play as so that is really good for me i am going to love that um so at the end of the day yeah i it is very exciting to see sora from kingdom hearts one being implemented uh, and this makes going into the Kingdom Hearts, or like the finales, the the, the uh, ending episodes, or ep ending parts of my Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough, it's going to make them a lot more um, just cool to play through because it's like, oh snap, this Sora, the one, that's, the one that I'm used to right now, again, is in Smash Bros. And he plays exactly like the one that's in Smash Bros. So... That's going to be very exciting to see it for sure. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot about Sonic Blade. Oh my goodness. 
Well, now I didn't forget about Sonic Blade. Anyway, I did, I'm just very, very excited to play as Sora. I, I am <laughs> stuttering. I am forgetting my words. I'm forgetting things. Uh, and just, ugh, man. I just love all the little aesthetic details, all the different moves and everything. Like, the throws are their own, like, moves in the games and all that kind of stuff. And, like, in specifically, I, I think back throws from Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, but, yes. <laughs> Moral of the story is I am excited for Sora. I'm excited for the moveset. Like, well, I am excited for Sora moveset wise. And that's what I'll say there. Alright, next up, of course, we have the stage that Sora comes with, which is Hollow Bastion. And I gotta be honest, I was not expecting Hollow Bastion, like, at all. I completely forgot, even though I'm playing through Hollow Bastion right now. Anyway, I personally thought that it was gonna be the final world. Uh, this is going off of the fact that I thought it was gonna be Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora. And I was expecting, like, the, the pillars from the... Sora fragment little mini game section. I was expecting that to be the stage and for it to move around and like turn all these different ways in the uh, in the normal version of the stage. Uh, but this is a I feel like this is a better option because I will be able to hear this music in like competitive games if this is tournament legal, quote unquote. I don't know, I don't play competitively. <laughs> But, uh, ugh, I just love the fact that I will be able to hear Kingdom Hearts music in Smash Bros. Like, it is <laughs> amazing to think that. And then, of course, the stage changes to the dive to the heart. Oh, my goodness. That is just, that, that brings back so many Brawl memories, like Brawl mods. Uh, memories of Brawl mods. Uh, like, uh, somebody made a modded stage of, I don't even know where, I forget, it might have been Battlefield or something, but it was a modded stage of Dive to the Heart, and it was literally just Sora's, the little thing, like his stained glass on the floor, and then they had the platforms, and then somebody did the same thing, but in Smash 4, and then I think in Ultimate 2, they had a Ventus Vanitas one, uh, specifically. But, dude, like, seeing all these other characters from the series in the backgrounds, it's just beautiful. So, I want to point out real quick the final smash that was shown in the presentation. I love it. <laughs> Honestly, I was having a hard time thinking of one. I, I went with the whole Keyblade, Keyblade Graveyard idea uh, with mixed with Ultimate Form and then the uh, Reality Shift stuff and the key, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 stuff. Um, but I eventually, like, oh well. This, the, the, Sora's Final Smash is just so representative of him, if that makes sense. And, uh, specifically, like, I, I love the detail that they put into Sora in general. Specifically, when you beat somebody in stamina mode, it does the, the finishing, like, slow down from like Kingdom Hearts and I just find that so fun Ugh, man like I I just can't like <laughs> I I just really want to play this character like badly I mean, you can't not talk about the music. Night of Fate, Destiny's Four, Shrouding Dark Cloud, Hand in Hand, Blast Away, Hollow Bastion. I can't read that one. <laughs> too many of them. Like, too many, but I understand that they're all from Kingdom Hearts 1, I think. But uh, I do like the fact that if you have the Switch version, you can get that Melody of Memory Swing version. Oh, for, 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 the, for Sora as well. Yo, that's... It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good day. That's gonna be a good day. 
And you can't not talk about the spirits. <laughs> Kyrie being novice, Ventus being advanced, Aqua being ace, Terra also being advanced, Riku as an ace, Shion as advanced, Axel as advanced, and Roxas as a legendary. And all I'm saying is, I'm guessing that these are all going to be stamina battles to get that uh, zoom in effect once you beat the enemy. Uh, if you're Sora, of course. And uh, I can already see some hidden details in the spirit battles, which is what these spirits are basically all about. Okay, seeing Sora fill in that last slot is just beautiful, that's all I'm gonna say. So, to sort of start to wrap up the video, I am going to talk a little bit about the amiibo, as well as the Mii costumes. Now, uh, they showed Steve and Alex, and they confirmed that Sephiroth, Pyra, Mithra, and Kazuya are going to get amiibo coming soon, I believe. Also in 2022, hopefully. I forget. But, uh, I have no idea. Like, we don't know if there's going to be a Sora one. I'm pretty sure there is going to be one. But I have no idea what's about to happen with that. So I'm just saying hopefully that happens. Hopefully he gets an amiibo too. And then of course the me costumes being Judd, the Octoling wig, and then Doom Slayer from uh, Doom. And they didn't, they, it's weird, ever since Byleth, all the me costumes have been like, well all the M-rated me costumes have been like censored in the US. Um, which is kind of why I thought that, uh, specifically, like, Master Chief and Doom Slayer and maybe, the like, Scorpion wouldn't be in the game. Uh, well, hey, Doom Slayer is a me costume now, so that's cool. But, uh, Master Chief, uh, and all these other characters are just kind of nowhere to be seen, and it's unfortunate, but, I mean, like, I, I feel bad for everybody that wanted Crash or, it, or even Master Chief and all that kind of stuff, but... I just hope that you guys can find a character if you haven't already. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything that I wanted to share. Wait, 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 but can we talk about, can we talk about the, uh, the splash screen poster thing for a second? First off, Sora looks beautiful in that picture. Second off, I think we need this to be sold somewhere. I have no idea where, but do it, Nintendo. You will make so much money. Bro, I'll even take one of Just Sora on his own. I don't even care. Just make it happen, please. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video off with, uh, I guess a quick kind of flashback or like a look back at my other videos and everything, and basically the fact that I was right with uh, all the with all the Sora stuff going on and all that kind of stuff. Like I, or and I predicted parts of this of this presentation like I specifically predicted the uh, simple and clean orchestral mix or the uh, orchestral version to be used in the beginning and the ending of Sora's trailer because that is just beautiful and then on top of that uh, at the beginning Sakurai saying that Sora means sky in Japanese but then at the same time saying that Sora is the name of his company and everything and I, man, uh, the only thing that was missing was him pulling out the Keyblade himself, just having one on hand, like, in person, just like, oh yeah, this is what it looks like, like, that would've been a flex, that would've been a power move, honestly. But, uh, yeah, no, other than that, there's really a lot to talk about, other than the fact that I am just very, 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 very excited to play a Sora. Uh, he, is, he was my only dream pick. Uh, ever since Smash 4, since the fighter ballot and everything, and I just hope that other people can just find a character that they're into, that they're interested in, and everything like that, all that kind of stuff, like, you, you know what I'm trying to say, just, I hope that everybody has a fun time with Sora, if you like him, if you don't like him, but you want to play as him, I don't know, it's up to you, it's your, that's what you do with the game, I guess, so, yeah, <laughs> Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know I'm all over the place, but like, it is, this keeps like popping up in my head and I just love this game so much now. I love Sora 
and I can't wait to play as him. So make sure you leave a like, comment your favorite part of this video, comment your thoughts on Sora or any other character, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.